Hi folks and welcome to this week's Modern Learning Tip of the Week. This week we're going to be talking a little bit about access to technology and a new tool that uh, is called Equatio. Um, and this is a tool that is now free for all teachers. It's from the same people who make uh, Google Read and Write if you've been using that tool, which is really exciting. Uh, we're working on trying to get this available for students, but for now it is available free for teachers. And uh, I will put a link in the, the email as well as in the notes on this uh, YouTube video uh, for those who want to sign up. So when you do sign up, um, one of the things that you will see is if you're in something like a um, Google form, then when you have the options to say what is the Pythagorean theorem, for example, um, when you have your different options here, then you have this little blue button that shows up, which is allowing you to insert math. So when I click there, I've got a few options that I can do. Um, I've got an equation editor, so I can decide that I want to actually type it in by clicking any one of these different options for the different math that is available. So if I wanted to put in um, my a squared, I'll try that again. So I can edit it this way if I'd like, um, and I can insert the math there. It will make the math and put that into my Google Forms, but it puts it in as an image. So if I put this as option A, then you'll see that A squared comes up there. If I want to put in some different options, I can click on insert math and I can actually handwrite it and it will recognize what I'm writing. So for example, maybe I want to get rid of that and type or try and write A squared plus B squared equals C squared and then it's got the theorem there and I can click on insert math, it will make the math and it will put it into the um, form as my option B. Um, or the other option that I've got is again insert math and I can get rid of this and actually just do speech input. So if I click here and just say a squared plus b squared equals c squared then it comes up here and I can insert the math. And for the math teachers out there, you'll realize how difficult it is normally to put this kind of uh, an option into something like a Google form and have it uh, look as it's supposed to look. So it's nice to be able to have that option um, that's available and putting those in as images. It also works if you are in a Google Doc, for example. So in our Google Docs, if I click on the icon for Equatio up in my extensions, once I click there, you'll see that the Equatio bar comes up on the bottom and again I can insert math as I need to. So if I wanted to do speech input here again I can say that a squared plus b squared equals c squared and then pause that and say insert math and then what you'll see is it inserts it as um, an image and I can close up Equatio after that and I've got my image here and I can go on and continue to type in my Google Doc as I need to. So um, it's just a really easy way to put in equations that uh, makes it a lot uh, simpler and makes it a lot cleaner when you're using things like Google Slides, Google Docs, or Google Forms. So that is Equatio by um, Text Help. And hopefully you have found this tip helpful. As always, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next week.